Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vegeta Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to use the panel transition pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can find the panel transition pack on our website. Once you bought it, you will receive it in zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. Then you will get this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, and the DRFX file. Just double click on the DRFX file to start the installation process. Then here, click install, and then go to DaVinci Resolve. Then once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Video Transition, and then Video to Studio, and you will find the panel transition. And then here you have 20 transition to choose from. Let's see together what they do, but first we need to have some clips. So let's just bring two clips in our timeline. I'm gonna bring this first one and this second one. As you can see, this first one doesn't match the resolution of my timeline. So I have two choices in those cases. I can either here increase the zoom to fill uh, the frame basically with the clip or I could just do that automatically by going here to retime and scaling and then here in scaling I can just select fill and I will just fill my frame completely just a quick tip now let's try to apply a transition so here I'm just going to drag this transition in between the two clips but as you can see it doesn't work it's because we need to trim the edges of both of those clips to give enough time for the transition basically to be applied so here I'm just going to trim that first and I'm going to trim that just stick them together again and now we can drag the transition without any issue now let's play it it's working fine i'm not dropping any frame but if you're dropping uh, some frame you can always here go to playback go to render cache and then make sure that you're in smart by default you might be in none but basically here you want to cache in your transition by default so here i'm gonna select smart I'm just gonna bring here that blue bar and basically when that bar just switch from red to blue that means that your transition has been caching and you will be able to play it uh, very smoothly without an issue. It all depends on the power of your computer, but by default, I always have uh, mine select to smart. So that means you get the time to cache in the transition and effect uh, in the background while I'm not editing or using the software. So that helped me to have smoother playback. Right now, let's just jump directly into the transition. So here, as you can see in the inspector, you get the duration in second and in frame. You can basically adjust that here by dragging it directly here in the timeline and it will be reflected in the inspector. And then same thing right here. If you want to second, for example, the change will be reflected in the timeline as well. So that's how you can adjust the length of your transition. Now to adjust the style right here, as you can see, that's clap. So let's say we want to adjust the color of that clap. We can go over to panel control and then here we can just switch the color. We can also adjust the opacity of some of the panel right now, as you can see right here, we can decrease the opacity or you can increase it to make it a solid. At any moment, if you want to reset the parameter to the default value, you can just double click on it and it will just reset that parameter to the default value. Right now, let's say I don't want to have blue. I want it to match my clip and have uh, here some pink slash uh, purple color. I'm just going to select the color, then select here the picker, and then we're going to select whatever color I want. So here, there's going to be that kind of magenta color, dark magenta maybe. And if we play it, as you can see, now that's matching a lot more with the clip that we have, and it feels a lot smoother. We can also here change the color of the white to, for example, black. And here we go. Now we've already stylized our transition a lot more. On this specific transition, you can also adjust the angle of that clap. So here you can just play around with that and it will just switch the angle to a different position. All the 20 transitions share very similar parameter. They are super easy to use. Most of the time it's here in the panel control that you can make your adjustment. Uh, if you want to change the transition here, let's say we want to switch from this clap panel to a closing panel. You can just drag it over the previous transition. It will retain the same timing. It will then just switch it to uh, the new style of transition. On this transition, as you can see, we share a similar functionality here in the panel control. But here on this one, we have the possibility to switch from vertical to horizontal. So you can basically adjust the direction. That will be just the main difference between 
uh, all of those. Some will have uh, some direction control like this and some will not. Also, some will have the possibility to adjust the curve. So here we have the curve in and out. If you know your way around curve and you understand how they work, you can basically switch between, for example, a queen curve and a cubic curve. That's just gonna basically give you a slightly different kind of animation. Um, most beginner will not notice uh, the difference, but uh, if you are more experienced uh, motion graphic designer um, or artist in general, you might notice uh, the difference in timing of those transition. So if you know your way around that, you can just play around with those curves. Now let's see quickly a third one. So here the corner circle panel, let's just drag that in. And as you can see here, you can choose also the direction, but because there is four direction right now, uh, it was easier to just create here a drop down. So we created the drop down where you can select left up, uh, left down, then here right up, and then right down. And as usual here, you can fine tune things in the panel control. So again, let's say here, I don't want to have that blue. I want to go more towards something uh, that is maybe gray. So here I'm just going to go and select black. And then we're going to go back to the wheel and we're going to just bring that back a little bit just to have something in between the black and the gray. And already I like that quite a lot. I think it's interesting. It's a lot more subtle. And then for the second one, the white, I want to have something that is a bit more subtle as well. So same thing here. Here I'm going to just select color and I'm going to just bring it more towards the gray to have something that is a bit more subtle and that match my previous clip. I'm then going to select OK. And on this one also, you can adjust the border width. So here you could just like decrease that or increase it. I will just decrease it slightly like this. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. And I've basically customized it to my need to fit my two clip. I hope this video was helpful and that you will enjoy the pack. Let me know in a comment what kind of pack we should create in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.